today is gonna be like um a kind of intro about the book club and also you know about how the book club structure works um i'm not sure like um um do you all participate in one or two of these book clubs here i have not been in one before i just right. started the one for use this today ah, okay what about thrilling um have you participated in any yeah this is my second i'm finishing up advanced r oh in, wow nice okay cool right i'm in mastering shiny as well oh nice nice okay um i was in advanced r i think cohort two or three something like that long ago yeah so anyway um so um welcome everyone my name is shams Dean, but you can call me sham um that's how people call me um, I'm really excited to, you know, um, lead this uh, book club uh, package, and um, I hope we will see um, till the end of the book club. Um, today um, is supposed to be like a little bit intro, um, you know, um, for those that are not familiar with how the book club works in R4DS and, um, you know, how um, we're going to go through everything. Right. So, um, The way the book club works, um, you know, is basically, um, as you know, um, Triven, you have been in one of these, it's just a volunteer. Any person can volunteer to present a chapter. You just sign up for a chapter you are comfortable with. Um, there isn't no any kind of, you know, uh, saying that everybody must present, but if you are happy with the chapter, you can sign up. And in the Slack, um, in the channel, you will see a pin, like, you know, a pin messages. You will see like a sign up sheet. Um, so let me share the sign up sheet. So if you go to the R club and um, you see volunteers volunteer to present. Where am I? Oh, I'm not in the right R package. Mm, okay. Um, volunteer cohort five. Okay, so I share in the chat the you know volunteer so that's the sheet we sign up to volunteer to present and you can you know pick anyone you want to present and also you know there are more information about how the presentation works um you know this is um the website for our package uh book club and if you want to know more um these are the previous cohort they have their meeting videos everything here and this is our cohort code five and you can see like how, you know, this thing, if you wanna uh, know detail about this. Um, also the, you know, recordings are shared on, you know, YouTube channel. Um, so, um, you know, uh, if you have your video and you don't wanna be seen, um, so it's optional. Um, so that's basically the structure about how we do this, um, you know, but also, you know, the pace, um, the way we do it, um, each chapter, we used to have a single session, but it turns out that if we have something, you know, more complex, I mean, that, uh, you know, I mean, we may not cover in a single chapter, and that's fine if uh, the presenter think he may not cover that, but we encourage everyone to present a single chapter. But also, you know, um, we will have a, an hour session for each chapter, so people can go and do their business and everything. Um, also, when you sign up and you may not be able to present the chapter, that's totally fine. You just, you know, send, you know, a heads off like, hey, um, you know, I'm quite busy so that somebody can, you know, uh, replace you in the presentation. Um, yeah. So um, a little bit intro here from this. Uh, my name is Shamsuddin. I'm a PhD student at the University of Porto, Portugal. Um, in computer science, I'm, you know, calling from Porto, Portugal, and I have been using R since I think, um, you know, uh, for four years now, and um, I'm looking forward, um, you know, um, and also in this book, in this R4DS, I, you know, coordinated quite a number of book clubs. I am coordinator right now, R4DS, I coordinated text, my tidy text, my tidy test R, I coordinated, you know, um, Machine learning with R one book. I coordinated um, uh, uh, advanced R, you know. So I do uh, coordinate uh, quite a bit of those. 
And I look forward, you know, to have, uh, because the reason why I said, um, you know, I'll participate because I have some, you know, data I want to develop package, but, um, you know, I don't have time to go and, you know, so I look forward at the end of this um, to have a package uh, at the end. Thank you. So let me ask uh, Ethan. Yeah, hey, I'm Ethan Brockman. Um, I am a, I think officially I'm a data solutions engineer. Um, but I work for a Taurus research, um, doing consulting and I just started with them last week. So it's pretty new, but so far I'm going to be working on some package development. Um, I picked up R for the first time, uh, December, 2018. So it's just been about four years. Um, I used it some for like data analysis stuff as an actuary in health insurance. Um, I have one very niche open source package used for some health insurance stuff. Um, yeah, and I've, I've read bits and pieces of this book, but I figure if I'm going to be developing in R all day, every day, I should, uh, finally read it cover to cover. <laughs> Good. Okay, cool. Thank you. Freven. I'm Trevin. I'm calling in from uh, Columbus, Ohio in the US. I've been, or sorry, I, uh, a bit more about me. Um, I'm a data analyst uh, here in Columbus, Ohio. And forgive the sirens in the background if you can hear that. <laughs> um, city living, right? Um, but I'm a data analyst for a homelessness and housing nonprofit that I that I've been with for about eight or nine months now, um, and I've been using R for maybe since like 2014 or 2015. Wow. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm looking forward to like best practices mm -hmm. for package development and. Uh, to hopefully create a package of my own as well. Cool. So I think, uh, um, Trevin, you are the oldest among us. So you are the senior R. <laughs> nice. Okay, cool. Right. Okay. So uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Right. So, um, you know, um, I, from all the indications, um, you know, uh, all of us are not new to all this stuff. So there's no need to go into nitty gritty about this, you know, talking about GitHub and Git. We are all familiar with all of this. Um, so that's the cool thing about, um, you know, um, uh, uh, from your experience, I think um, everyone has, um, you know, have used Git and GitHub. So let me skip this stuff. Um, however, if anyone, you know, has some, you know, rusty Git or Git 12, these are some of the resources one can, you know, brush up, uh, such as Happy Git and Git off with R, use this, um, you know, uh, um, book club uh, YouTube playlist. So, for example, for, um, you know, um, uh, uh, Ethan, maybe um, because this may be your first, um, you know, R book club, so um if you go i mean there is you know youtube here just git for git club um how to you know do all this stuff and uh, you can have a look at it if you uh, wish to um yep so um you know i'm just going through chapter one which is basically the intro um which is the purpose of the day um so the chapter one just introduced what um pack what is our package why do we need it and the raised and the next chapter, chapter two, basically, you know, uh, discuss about the whole game, um, trying end-to-end -end package development that will see the nit, uh, nitty gritty of every bit um, in the subsequent chapters. But um, just to start, um, what pack our package is, um, it's just a way to bundle code, data, and documentation that can be sh easily shared with others, right? Um, so it avoid dedupl deduplication. So if I do um, some kind of analysis, you know, um, I find it so worthy enough. Um, I would just wrap it in, you know, package and now ship to GitHub or CRAN so people can reuse my code and, 
you know, so that's basically what our package means. And as of June this year, 2022, there are over 1,800 packages on grant. And the main goal of this book is to teach us, you know, the best practice on how to develop and write our packet of our own. So that's basically um, one of the main goal of this book club, uh, of this book. And also, you know, um, you know, there are many ways um, where our package um, can be found, whether on Cran um, or like GitHub. Um, I don't know, like they said, GitHub is the most popular. So do you think um, packages, uh, there are more packages on GitHub than Cran? <laughs> I'm not sure. That's so, a good question. yeah, because like um, the previous presenters, you know, all these notes have been prepared by previous people that, um, you know, facilitate the sessions. So you two, if you want to present a chapter, you can fork the repository, do some edit and push it back so that it can, um, you know, integrate with the existing code. So the previous person that did this presentation here, they are saying GitHub is the most popular. So um, what what is your experience, Trevin and Ethan, about this? Uh, do you think that? Um, yeah, I think for, at least for public uh, repos outside of CRAN, mm -hmm. I think GitHub is the most popular among where mm -hmm. people put their packages. Mm -hmm. um, for, for my organization, we have, we have like five or six packages on our public GitHub mm -hmm. with, uh, so we can, um, yeah, we can, we can just install those straight from GitHub. So do you push them to Cran or no? No. Are they, they are um, not on Cran. They are not on Cran. Um, some people just uh, don't bother putting it, <laughs> pushing it to Cran. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I know they have, um, they're, they're more strict with, Mm -hmm. uh, passing all those tests yeah yeah mm -hmm. okay so people don't you know bother about pushing them to cran so i think in the long run maybe the github will be yeah i agree yeah what about ethan what's your experience um i mean i've certainly downloaded plenty of packages from github um either because they're not on cran or because i need a development version or whatever um i guess i don't really know how many packages there are like on bioconductor i've never really used bioconductor but that's the other main sort of repository i know of mm -hmm. um yeah okay yeah, everything's on github <laughs> right okay so i mean yeah so um um also bioconductor is available for people in the medical and um, biomedical or some uh, niche area like that um, so yeah, so that's about, you know, packages and also, you know, um, we all know these, how to install package, how to load the package to use it, and also how we can find help. So this is just telling us, introducing us, um, you know, the whole packet for those people that are new to that stuff. Um, so why one develop package? So um, as I said in the beginning, it allow us to easily share uh, code among us and save us uh, yourself and your team time. So for example, you know, um, you know, previously, um, oh, okay, GitLab and Bitpocket are two other public options. Yes, exactly. So GitLab and Bitpocket um, are also other options, um, but um, yeah, GitHub is the one, you know, widely used. So yeah, why we have um, developed packages is, so, for example, for me, like, um, you know, I have a code that I basically run continuously on different data sets and, you know, at times, uh, you know, um, I change some code from this computer. To, so it's better, you know, to package everything in, you know, package if you do one change at one place uh, because you are using function oriented stuff. Um, it allows to do that. Um, that's one thing using package, it forces you, you know, to use, um, you know, more robust, you know, rigorous, reproducible ways and structure that allows you to have, uh, you know, reproducible code. Um, so yeah, so that's one why we need to use package. Um, also, as Harry Parker, um, here Hillary Parker from the book says, um, it is just not about just sharing the code. It saves your uh, self time as well. So yeah, of course, uh, 
having package to automate everything um, that you do repeatedly, um, save you time and also, you know, prevent you making some, you know, stupid mistake that, uh, yeah. And, um, you know, what the philosophy um, behind the tools of our package development. So, um, you know, anything that can be automated should be automated. So um, using uh, our code, like in our script or Markdown, um, we repeatedly some stuff, but if we can automate everything, then should be automated and do as little by hand as much as possible. And, um, you know, this, you know, automation of, you know, packet development is, you know, achieves using dev tools and uses, which we'll see in, you know, subsequent chapters. And all these depth tool and you know works hand in hand with R Studio, which you know encapsulate all the details and nitty gritty ones need to develop our package. So um, we'll definitely be using these tools, dev tools and uses um, to um, you know uh, while uh, uh, the, in this chapter, so that because they literally um, you know encapsulate all the you know uh, problems or you may try to. Uh, um, see along the way. So these are the tools we're going to be using. Dev tool and uses uh, a lot in the uh, book, but also they made mention like you know um, there is uh, writing R extension, which is one of the uh, core you know um, resources for R package or R extensions. That once if you need um, more you know uh, details explanation, you can have uh, you can access it here, which is this create an R package um, with a lot of information, but the book gives, um, you know, a beta structure to understand and work on that. Okay, um, so how the book structure works. So um, the books start from chapter one through 24, and basically R package, second edition, so we can see the book here, it has this, you know, getting started one to six, you know, packet development, this packet metadata, testing, documentation, maintenance. So it just, you know, they put everything in some kind of uh, structured way. This just introduced the fundamental getting started and now how you do the packet component, R code data and other component and, you know, metadata testing. So we'll be able to see a lot of, um, how to you know maintain and finally how to you know um, do all this stuff through chapter 24. Um, so here we have from chapter one through chapter 24, which hopefully we'll be able to go through it. Um, you know, and by that time I believe we will have um, you know a working package. I believe and hope so. Um, yeah, and uh, yeah, because we uh three in number at this time. I'm not sure if anybody can join this. So it means, um, you know, <laughs> uh, we will have a lot of presentations among us, which is quite good in the sense that, um, you know, um, I quite believe like if people volunteer to present, they literally commit and, you know, read the book and, you know, uh, uh, you know uh, get more out of the book if they commit to do volunteer, to volunteer to do that. Um, um, the, in the previous these guys they also put uh, what we won't learn in this book um all this git and github and r Magda is not part of the book um so uh <clears throat> we are all learning here so none of us is smarter as of us um so as you can see here you all have an experience of our package um but for me this is my first time that i want to develop or write our package i haven't read but i read the book you know because the thing that actually when I was reading the book, um, I don't actually have um, an, a project to work on. So it just I, on top of my head. But right now I have a lot of project, like two packets that I will be working toward um, while going through this book. So I hope I will learn a lot from you guys um, with your experience along the way. So, um, you know, um, we can discuss at any time and uh, um, yeah, learn from each other. So this is, I think, the end of the intro section of this book club. Um, yep. And uh, we, we basically will start um, the chapter about um, the whole game um, next week, and uh, we'll be able to see how it goes. Um, yeah. So anyone wants to ask something, um, Trevin?
Uh, yeah, I can volunteer for next week to present. Okay, sure. Okay, cool. <clears throat> All right. So, Trevor and volunteer for the next week presentation. Um, awesome. Um, so, um, um, uh, that would be cool. Um, yeah. And just, um, you know, you, you are happy to, you know, indicate the chapter you are interested to, um, anyone. And also, we can, you know, sign up as time goes on, but just to have like two weeks, three weeks, we should know who will present. So, that's fine. But, uh, uh, we need to know to fill in all the chapters right now, but uh, yeah, okay. Um, Ethan, you want to add something? Um, so I I would be happy to to plan to present the next chapters, but I will be um as far as meetings, I'm going to be unavailable the 23rd and the 30th. Um, when are you not going to be available? Um, so. I'll I'll be here next Friday, and then the the next two Fridays after that, I'm going to be out of town for. Mm -hmm. oh, um, okay. So I don't know if we want to. Yeah. If so y'all plan to meet still or not? Um, yeah, I but I can I'm, present on the sixth. The yeah, next time. Yeah, I think um it's gonna be um for the whole R four DS. I think it's gonna be a break week. I'm not sure. Um, have you check and see like uh, we we still have um, uh, let me check. Do we have Oh, okay. Right. So I will uh, update this. I think, um, you know, we should update this. Um, we don't have, um, you know, let me just wait uh, because I see John in other. Okay. No meeting, no meetings. Okay. So on 22, okay. Let me just paste it here. 20, 23 and 30. Yep. So all this one. Okay. No, here. Yeah. No meeting, no meeting. Okay. Um, yeah, then I can I can plan to do the chapters three and four. I think it is on the the sixth. So you see, no meetings, no meetings. So here we don't have meetings. So um, you know the um, Traven um will present the next one. So you're happy to present. You know. Uh, oh, okay. I will shift the. Uh, yeah, because here yeah, no meeting. Okay, I will do that. So that you can present the chapter three and four, right? And I can present chapter five. Are you happy with that? Okay. Yeah, so, sounds great. Okay, thank you, Triven. Um, thank you, Ethan. And I'm happy to see um we could start the session with first chapter um by Triven next week, and hopefully we also meet um uh, after the new year. Thank you all for joining, and um, yeah. Nice to meet you all in this book club. Yeah, nice to meet you. Thank you for facilitating. This is okay. This is Thank you all, and see you next week. Yep. All right, see ya. Yeah, bye. See y'all.